Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another day in my life. Today is Wednesday. Um, it is currently 6.30. I'm getting ready for school. Um, again, I go in at 8.30, so I leave here at like 7.30, so I can get there kind of early. But right now, I've already done my hair. I've done my makeup. I still look really tired, because I am. <laughs> but um, right now, I'm just gonna make something quick for breakfast, and then gather my things, gather my lunch, gather my books that I need to take. And I'm gonna bring you along with me on this day. So yeah, welcome to another day in my life. because I'm here a little bit early so I'm gonna study for a little bit and then after that I'm gonna go to class so yeah this is what I'm doing right now so today I have civil procedure and I'm writing some other cases for my legal writing class and I have a lot of them to read so that's what I'll be doing for now and this is just like a little study area that's just like at the end of the hall So I really quickly wanted to update you on my day. I'm, I'm sitting in the passenger seat because I completely forgot to do this before I got off. But I'm getting my stuff right now out of my car. I just got home. Um, school was a little bit different today because I didn't have my first class. We had it like an online module. And so then right now I went to two other classes and then I had to go get my fingerprints done for the Texas Board of Law Examiners. So I went there and then now I'm home. I was out of class at like 2.40. I was out of class at 2.40, um, but I'm home now. Um, I went and did my fingerprints. So right now I'm just gonna chill for a little bit, eat some dinner. But yeah, I'm just gonna grab my stuff. Today we got this really cool book. Um, I'll show you more about it inside. And I'm carrying my civil procedures book as well. Hey guys, so I look really rough, but I've already changed into more comfortable clothes and I'm about to go work out, but first I want to drink a Celsius. It's going to be my first time trying it, so I just thought I would record it and kind of give you my opinion and see what I think about them, but yeah, I just changed. I'm getting ready to work out. Alright y'all, so I'll be trying the Celsius Sparkling Kiwi Guava. I'm, I'm going to drink this and then hang out for like about 10 minutes and then get going to the gym because I do want to give it time to kind of uh, sit and I guess I'm gonna drink this apparently it's healthier than like other energy drinks and I really like carbonated water so I'm really excited I like sparkling water I like sparkling water so I'm really excited so yeah I'll let you know what it tastes like and if it works hey guys uh, today's actually a different day today's Thursday so it's I stopped filming yesterday and today I just thought I would do a little bit of a Q&A since today marks the first month of me in law school. So we started August 26th and today is September 26th. So I just thought I would update you a little bit of what's been going on, kind of what my thoughts are, where I'm at right now. Um, please disregard all the mess back here. I just got home from school, like I said, so I haven't put my lunch back and my coffee and stuff away. So um, just disregard that. But yeah, let's get started with some of the key points that I wanna hit. So as I mentioned earlier, I think in another clip, um, I'm taking five classes. Um, I'm taking torts, civil procedure, contracts, uh, legal writing, and legal methods. Legal methods is only an eight weeks course and that'll be done in about two weeks. Uh, that course pretty much is just teaching us how law school kind of works or kind of what's like expected of us or how professors expect us to like 
reason and think pretty much so it's kind of like a little like seminar kind of like getting us oriented with law school so that's why it's so short and then legal writing obviously teaches you how to le write like a legal professional so um that one's been kind of hard um it's just a lot of adjusting from what you've already learned to write in your undergrad and then like your whole career and kind of undo all that and relearn how to write with like legal terms and in legal ways so that's kind of where i'm struggling right now just a little bit um i also have torts and contracts torts is going pretty good contracts contracts is going okay um and then civil procedure so um these classes are all distributed throughout the week i have classes monday through friday and i usually have two classes per day except on wednesdays wednesdays i have legal methods as well so there's three that day but i do have two classes per day um I do have a gap in between my classes, so I start my day pretty early. I start my day at around 8.30. I'm already at school by 8. Then I have a three-hour gap, and then I have my second class around 1.10, and then I come home usually between either 2.40 or 3.30. Um, I do get out later on Tuesdays and Thursdays rather than Mondays and Wednesdays, and then Fridays are just half days. So that's kind of what my week looks like. But so far... Um, we've already started diving into the harder assignments it's not so much just learning now now we're actually working so um we have midterms in about two or three weeks so we're definitely getting there um in case i didn't mention my school doesn't do just a one test during the whole semester thing we do midterms and a few assignments here and there so if you hear me talking about midterms and assignments is because we do have more than one grade um it's not a lot it's just maybe like three so our grade is divided like in three, the final, the midterm, and maybe a few assignment or participation or something like that. But of course, those are not weighed as heavily as our final or midterm. But yeah, um, I do have some assignments that are coming up due, so we're slowly working on them. Um, I've briefed at least over 50 cases by now, and it's only been a month. So um, you can only imagine what the rest of the semester will look like. I've heard that your second year you don't brief as much because you've kind of learned how to pick up things here and there, which I, de I definitely see coming. I do want to point out that I've gotten a lot better at reading cases. Um, at first it was so confusing, the vocabulary was so confusing, but I must admit that after a month it all comes so much easier. So if you're someone who's thinking about going to law school and you've kind of looked at cases and kind of thought that that could never be you just know it gets easier it definitely gets easier so just it's still it's the type of thing where you have to practice to get better so just make sure you keep reading uh know your vocabulary and all that stuff so that's kind of where i'm at right now um i feel like reading cases has gotten a lot better um, somewhere I'm kind of struggling is balancing my time and prioritizing, I guess. Um, I know that when I come home, I want to rest for a little bit and then start working on, like, schoolwork. But it's a lot harder than it sounds. It's just hard after being at school a full day, coming home and still working on all these assignments and all these readings. It's just getting myself to do it is the hard part. So I'm trying my best to kind of like manage my time the best I can. But again, that's what I'm struggling. I just want to point out that it's very, very important that you prioritize and that you keep in mind why you're doing things. That's usually what gets me going. I remember that during my undergrad and during, well, maybe not a lot during high school, but for sure during my undergrad, I worked extremely, extremely hard to be where I'm at right now. So it would be really pointless for me to slack off or to just not care. Um, I wish I could go back and show you all how hard I worked during my undergrad to get to law school. So that's kind of what gets me going. I remember that I worked really hard and very privileged to be in the position that I'm in because I know there's a lot of people who want to go to law school and they just haven't gotten around to it they don't have the means to do it not that i do but you know like i've worked i've worked around so i could be here i've you know like pulled a few strings so i could be where i'm at i've definitely worked hard like me being in law school i know for a fact comes from me working hard and so 
I'm very privileged because a lot of people might want to be where I'm at right now and maybe haven't gotten in, maybe haven't been able to like prepare for LSAT or taking the time to do their applications, like for many reasons. Um, I'm very privileged and very, very lucky to be in law school and to be doing something that not everyone can do and not everyone can afford to do. So those two things together kind of are the things that get me going and when I'm sitting here complaining and sitting here thinking of how frustrated I feel, that those are the things that come to my mind. So I just want you guys to keep in mind that whatever you're doing, just remember that you were once working very hard to be there. So, or you once wished you were there. And I know for a fact that was me during my undergrad. I really wished I was just already in law school so I could get going with my career and now here I am. So I'm definitely not gonna take that for granted. And I'm gonna work very hard. So I'm exactly a month in today. So um, I'm not gonna lie, today I was feeling the pressure. I've definitely been feeling it these last few days, but especially today. But that's a story for a whole different day. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to share that I'm home now and I never finished the vlog from yesterday. I've been so bad about vlogging because it's so hard, y'all. Like I get home from school <laughs> and I look like a mess. And then on top of that, I have to do like 500 things. And then by that time, it's time for me to do my homework. And then it just all, it just all becomes a mess. <laughs> I just don't have time. And I feel like at that point, it's pointless for me to start vlogging because I'm just reading. So I don't want to just show you the book. Um, but definitely when I start doing a little bit more fun activities, I will be vlogging a lot more. Uh, my days are pretty similar every day. It's the same routine every day except Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. But I'll definitely try to vlog maybe a week in my life or maybe a weekend since they're different than the rest of the week. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm sorry for not finishing the other vlog. And if you made it this far, then thank you so much for listening to me pretty much just rant and talk about life and law school. So if you have any questions about law school or anything else, just make sure you leave a comment or you could just, you know, keep watching. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be talking a lot more about law school because that's kind of where I wanna focus this channel as well as my everyday life. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys subscribe. Bye.